Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Does Smart Summon use maps? Let's find out. Okay, don't make fun, don't make... I feel weird just standing behind you. <laughs> no, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna mention you guys right off. Welcome back, I'm joined by my two friends, Tessa Milton and, uh, you know, Tessa Backseat Baller, Mark. Uh, this guy is named Anthony, this guy's named Mark. I'll tell you why they're here. They're gonna, they're here basically for moral support, but they're gonna help me out in this video too. It, it's very, very windy, we folks. So I apologize you. if the wind's um, uh, making a lot of noise. Oh. No, no, it's okay. Okay, so we all have Smart Summon, at least here in North America. It came out in the States and then came out in Canada, what, maybe like a month later, a few weeks later. And um, we all know, it, it did, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Right. So, three right. weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks later, there. The, this, the reason I have him here, other than him being a buddy of mine, is he is the quintessential uh, expert, at least here in Canada, when it comes to <laughs> smart summon. He, you use it on a daily basis almost, right? <laughs> two, three times a day. Yeah, yeah, two, three times a day. So he's here for other than moral support. He's here to, to help me out, uh, give me good information about uh, smart summon. Okay, so like I said, it's been out for for a few months now. And what a lot of people in the community has realized is that... Uh, somehow, using the cameras and sensors and stuff like that, somehow it also uses um, the maps and the surrounding areas. And what a lot of people found out online is it uses this um, one map system called OpenStreetMap. OpenStreetMap, if, if you don't know what that is, that's like an open source, like almost like a Wikipedia of maps where uh, users can go in and they can alter the maps. They can change it. And then I, I went onto the website and I'll leave a link below. And I uh, played around with it. So if you want to, in, in a parking lot, if you want to put like a median or a curb or an island that wasn't, that's not there, uh, you can put them in. Now, to varying successes, some people reported online that it actually worked for Tesla Smart Summon, and some people said it didn't. What brings us here today, this area here, we're in Milton, this is a new facility, it's a community center here. Um, two months ago, this wasn't here. A year ago today, I put up a picture of what it looked like, it wasn't here. So the whole reason for this video is I was here on the weekend, um, with the family and i parked a car as you can see it's a vast parking lot I'll, I'll show you a picture of the parking lot how big it is with no chargers yeah with no chargers that's another issue yes brand new facility is 2020 this opened like two months ago and there's not one electric vehicle charger in here terrible on you milton so yeah it's a big huge parking lot uh but when i and i was going to summon my car when i opened the app and i looked in the summon tab and i opened the map it was just a green field it was nothing so i'm thinking Okay, it's here and it's, it, a lot of cars are all around it, but it thinks it's a field. So will it actually work? That's what I want to find out. That's why I brought these two monkeys to help me out. Thanks. Okay, folks, just so you know, on the actual maps, the Google portion of the maps in the car, this is what I, we see. We see when it was like under construction probably about six months ago or maybe nine months ago back in the summer, it looks like, because it's green. So this is Google Maps, but the map in the app, you saw that, it's completely different. So uh, I wonder why that is. Okay, so we're parked here in the parking lot. This is how we're gonna test it out. We're here in the parking lot. I've got Mark helping me out over there with the drone in the sky. We're parked next to a BMW and next to an Audi. So this should be pretty good in case anything happens. Uh, we'll have a high collateral damage. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you'll see with the, with the candle glare and everything, or, or the sun glare, that it's basically a green, green field. That's all it is here, folks, a green field. So, yep, I'm gonna be right here. Mark's gonna watch where the thing is and uh, wait for this lady to come out of the way. Uh, getting a little windy, I apologize for the wind noise if there is any. And uh, here we go. Let's bring it. There's not a lot of vehicle traffic. There's a lot of parked cars, which is good, but there's not a lot of vehicle traffic. So let's press go to target, uh, which is right here. And let's see what it does. Okay, and here it comes. It's coming out. It's uh, sensing stuff. It's sensing the cars. Um, it's not seeing anything to do with green grass or anything like that that's here on the phone. And it's using the sensors. It's using the sensors, the sonars, the radar, the cameras. Maybe not the radar, but the cameras. And it's uh, doing a pretty good job. It's uh, very timid and it's going in different directions. And uh, now this person, it's gonna see this person, it's gonna stop. Now it's far, the lady was far enough away. 
and it's uh, come right to me. It's, well, not right to me, now it's turning around. <laughs> don't know where it's going. And uh, if I don't stop it, it's going to drive up onto the sidewalk. So there you go. That's test number one. Let's put it in a different location and test it again. Okay, so this is test number two. I can't see the car. I've parked it way over there. I can't see it. I've got Anthony as a spotter, so he's going to spot for me. And of course, we've got the drone up in the air. And uh, let's see if it can come right here to where I am. It's similar to where I was before, but let's see what it does. Like I said, I can't see it. You, you guys will be able to see it on the drone, but I can't see it right here. So I don't know. It says it's in drive doing six kilometers an hour. Uh, I can see Anthony because he's so tall, so he must be following the car. And it's coming down a laneway. Yeah, there it is. It's coming down. Get the phone out of the way. Here it comes. And uh, stopping. And now it's going to turn. What did it do there? Was it going to. Okay. Uh, I, can't, I couldn't see what's in front of that car, so I just put it there. Let's see what it does. Is it going to go straight? Okay, it's going to reverse. My question was, was it going to reverse the first time? <laughs> if I didn't. So now it's reversing, and now it's coming. And you know what? It's doing a decent speed. It's doing six kilometers an hour. Well, it's four now, now that I say that. Now it's coming in here. Is it going to come in a little uh, drop-off zone? Pickup area. It's thinking about it. You can see the wheels moving. And... Uh, and it's going to come here now. It's going to come out of that zone. It's going to come around here. Let's put its signal on. It's still coming straight. It's a little hesitant where it wants to go now. But it's still coming. There you go. And uh, it's turning. It's basically... It has come basically to me. And it's going to stop right here. Perfect. That is perfect, and it's uh, summon complete. Okay, folks, like you saw there, as, as I mentioned there in, in the last test, uh, it looks like it's not using the maps. It's actually using the electronics on the car, the actual sonars, the sensors, the cameras, uh, maybe maybe the radar to some extent. Thank you very much to Mark. He's uh, He was our drone pilot for the day, and uh, he was our spotter. Uh, and, and of course also the muscle too, like yeah. use security in case anybody came out and kicked us out of this uh, community center, which is a public area. He feels secure. Yeah, he feels secure. But you know what? What I forgot when I before I even did this and had this idea and everything, Mark has done this already. In his video, one of the viral videos that he has on his channel, and uh, I'm going to put a link to both of these guys' channels below, go check it out. But especially his video, because he did it going through the drive-through and the same situation, right? Yeah, it, yeah where you cannot see the parking lot. Yeah, on the on, map. On the map yeah. and in the phone. So yeah. that's why right away I mentioned in the video too, I think it's going to be a fail, but it did not. Well, you thought it was going to be a fail because of yeah. my video. Yeah. Anyways, folks, don't want to make this any longer than it already is. These guys always uh, tease me about it. Under 10 minutes? Th no. Yes, it's going to be under 10 minutes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Five dollar bet. <laughs> okay, and then let's do the final uh, last test here. It's... um in that little roundup, not roundabout, that little uh, drop-off zone there. And Anthony's gonna guide us so it doesn't mount to curb or anything. And uh, we're gonna see if it can come out of there, snake around here, this little uh, U-shape uh, drive-through or driveway here, and see if it'll uh, do it. We'll, what we'll do this time is we'll use the come to me feature. I don't know if you can see it there to come to me. I'm just gonna press come to me. And uh, it's turned on, let's see what it does. Anthony's going to tell me if it's going to mount the curb or if it's going to go, oh no, it, look at that, it actually turned away from the curb, which is good to know, I think. Let's put its signal on. This is, this is great, folks, because what it's telling us now, it's use, it uses the maps when it can for uh, public and private areas and stuff like that, but, oh, but it mainly depends on the sonars and sensors and the cameras and maybe a little radar to some extent. It was supposed to come through here, but it didn't. Uh, so I guess it's gonna go around. Let's see what it does. But I think that, is that a one way? No, it's not a one way. No, this is so, a one way where we are. Okay, the fire department's here. Oh, did we end up having the fire department come on us? You, you, you got the right away after the car stops. Let's see what happens here. 